Hey guys, it's Sam. It's um, Monday, September 6th, 2010. I'm recording this on Sunday. Um, just to be truthful, um, not that anyone necessarily cares. So, um, yeah. Happy Monday. Uh, it's Labor Day, and that is a holiday from school, which is very exciting. So if you have a day off, cool. I hope you have a good Labor Day. Um... Topic this week is how has your gender changed over time? Do you see it continuing to change or has it pretty much stayed the same? Has being genderqueer changed you? Um, it's like a really complicated question. So has your gender changed over time? Um, yes. Well, okay. This is an interesting thing to think about because in some ways it's changed a lot over time. Um, I identify differently than I used to. I used to identify as female. I used to present as female slash tomboy. Um, and over time, of course, that has changed. And I um, identify as genderqueer. I identify as trans. I don't identify as female or male. Um, but leaning more towards the masculine side of the spectrum and all of that. Um, so that's definitely changed over time. But the thing I think that's most interesting is that overall my, um, feelings about myself have pretty much remained exactly the same. I just have different words for it and labels and like that helps to talk about how I feel and, um, validate it, um, and explain it to people. And also it helps to explain it to myself. Um, it's, it makes a lot more sense if I have words to talk about it. So, um, that is what has changed. I mean, on the outside, it looks like it's changed more, but really what's changed is, um, having words to talk about it because for a long time, um, I've felt kind of how I feel now. I mean, I, I don't like, I don't, I haven't identified with being female in a really long time. I think I probably did, um, to some extent at some point, probably like high school when I was trying to, um, do that whole thing. But, uh, you know, like as a little kid, like I had really short hair and people thought I was a boy and, um, I didn't mind that. I thought it was, I think I thought it was funny. I don't think I was offended or anything. Um, I like to play, um, with boys toys and, um, boy things. And then I also like to play with dolls. I like to play house, you know? Um, so I think that even from like looking at that, which is a little bit silly, but even looking at that, it's kind of like, oh, mixture, male, female. Um, not that like you can have someone who plays with both of those things and then identifies with their gender. I'm just saying like, I don't know. In some ways it seems like, um, I've always been this way, even though it wasn't labeled. Okay. So, um, do I see my gender continuing to change? That's an interesting question because I see myself staying genderqueer. That makes sense to me. Um, that identity really resonates. It just works. And so, do I see myself not identifying as genderqueer? No. But do I see myself as I um, get accustomed to testosterone, as things start to change, do I see myself possibly um, identifying in a more masculine way? Sure, I'm, I'm open to that possibility. Um, whether it happens or not, I, I don't know. But um, I don't know. I, I feel like probably as time goes on, I'll become, hopefully, if testosterone is right for me, I will become more accustomed to it and just kind of feel, maybe feel more male. Um, I just, it's important to me to maintain this genderqueer thing because it's so central to my identity and it just like feels right. And it's felt right for a long time, even before I knew the word. Um, and, you know, there's been some talking on, on YouTube about genderqueer people who go on testosterone and um, do they leave behind that identity? Was that identity just a stepping stool? Um, you know, are they, are they genderqueer for a, a phase? Phase. Um, or is it 
you know, a solid identity. And I think that probably depends on the people, you know, I think everyone uses the words differently and everyone kind of shifts in their identity in different ways, um, over time. But for me, I really hope that it sticks. It just, because it feels right. And I know that things can feel right. And over time they change and don't feel right anymore. Like I'm not a girl. That used to feel okay. That doesn't feel okay anymore. What has happened to my shirt? Anyway, um, so I think it might change, and I'm okay with that. I just hope that the gender queer part stays consistent. Um, has being gender queer changed you? I think finding the word gender queer empowered me to change certain certain things about my identity that didn't feel right but I didn't know why um, or I didn't have a concrete reason for so being genderqueer has allowed me um, in my own words of course allowed me to um, really express that externally and um, you know I, it gave me the power to change my name like I never I always wanted to change my name but I didn't have like a reason and I didn't understand why and so you know it helped um, also being genderqueer has let me explore my masculinity. Um, however, you know, sissy that masculinity could be described, you know, it, it has allowed me to describe it. Um, it has allowed me to explore it. Um, uh, whether that's physically with um, getting a binder, with uh, presenting in a certain way, or emotionally and really feeling like okay how do I how do I connect with this body do I connect with it in some ways and not in other ways what does that disconnect mean um it's allowed me to explore um all this trans stuff because I just it felt like it was so far away from where I was before and finding the word gender queer and really holding on to it and realizing that it, it's the right word for me has allowed that door to be opened and that exploration um, to happen. So it's been great. Um, I think it'll be interesting to look back on this video in time and um, see if anything has changed in terms of how I think about things. Um, again, that's the only real part of testosterone other than like having to shave here to wear a t-shirt. I hope that that doesn't happen. I hope I don't lose my hair, but the thing about, oh no, did I lose my train of thought? That's the thing about testosterone. Oh, the emotional changes and like the mindset changes and maybe I won't feel gender queer anymore, but I just really hope I do <laughs> because it just makes sense. Um, and I like it. So, okay, that's this video. Um, I hope everyone's doing great, enjoying their holiday, their day off, if you have it. Um, and I will talk to you guys next week. All right.